Hello guys, Megijib here. Welcome back to another Swordline Interfact video. And today in this video, I will be doing a free to play skill rule core tier list. Yes, uh, last time I did was nine, 10 months ago, which has been a while. And we have got a new skills that we got for free. So I have to update it. And I also made a change on the tier list. Of course, we have now S, A, B, Modfather, Ring, EX ability only for buffs, limited skill, and useless ones. So that is the new tier list. Before I had S, A, B, C, F, I believe, right? What I mean by free to play skill record, I mean the skill record that has been given out for free from story quest, from events, from collab, from celebration, given from the Bandai. So those only thing, no gacha, no gacha involved. No free summoning. Free summoning is it is free, but it's still like gacha. Anything that was given for free or was able to obtain from events or collab, those are free to play. So, before I start my tier list, I want to say that Sword Online Interfactor doesn't have a really a tier list. And everything, everything right here, right now in this video, is just my opinion, my biased opinion. So you don't need to take this tier list serious. This is just what I think the skill cards are right now through the game, from early game to late game right now, so far in the past six years. So you just don't take this serious. This is just my opinion. So we have that out of the way. Now let's talk about the skill record. So let's start the first skill we have on the S tier, which is Peaceful Smile Yui. Yes. Now, why do I put this skill here? Well, is Yui is really good and is free and you get this one early into the game. When you complete floor 5, you'll get this as a reward, which is amazing for, for early players that you started the game. This one gives you attack, it gives you awakening, so you can activate your rush. And also, when you use your rush, your switch bar will fill by half, so that is really amazing. So you can get your switch much faster, and it is really, really good. Now. For those that are returning players or old players that have already completed floor 5 but did not have this skill yet, you can buy this one in the combat metal shop. It depends on what rotation, but I believe this right now, this month, it is there in right now, so you can buy this one. It is really good. Do you need to limit break it? Not really, but you can if you want to. For all, all players that was active during all the year, we have got we have been given free 10 copies or 11 copies, so we have already maximum break it. It is really good for early game, and when it comes to late game, you still can equip this one because, like I mentioned before, the switch bar filled by half. So you can use rush and use the switch, switch faster, which means you can kill the boss faster if you are late game players because we can use one shot the boss. So we can far faster release crystal that we really really need to have to unlock more weapon skill for our weapon prophecy. So that's why I really like this one, and that's why I put it S tier. Because it is so amazing, it's it being used in early game, mid game and late game, so it is really really good. Next we have the A tier, which is only free skill here that I put, which is Hercliffe, Dival and Krito. Now let's start with Hercliffe. This is Unshakable Hercliffe and it is a connect sword skill, and why is it on A tier? Well, if we compare it to other connect skill, for example, Shaping of Your Own Fate, Krito, it has a buff that reduces the damage you receive, which is nice. But when it comes to connect skill, it reduces the status element stacking by fire on yourself when hitting the skill, which is like, all right, not, you don't really need it. You can use your pot to cleanse it, or even use dagger to remove everything. If you have a skill that removes the stacks, it's much better. And also, it costs 24 SP to use and have 12 second cool time. It does damage, of course. Now, Hercliff, it is free and is available for everyone. You don't need to do damage on a connect skill. It is all right. At level 70, you do 905%, which is all right. It has smaller SP cost, same cool time. And also, and also it have token five, token five buff, which reduce the damage by 50% instead of, of four or five. So yeah, it's much better for two seconds. Pretty good. Also, you cover some HP, which is all right, but it is free. And also you can put more skill into it. Um, for those that miss out the free copies, we did get one more copy, which means we have plus one or one limb break on the skill, so we can put two skills. But for those that doesn't have it, that's fine. You don't need to limb break it. They will give. You can buy it as well. I would say 
the itself is really good you can put one more skill the fifth skill in your set if you have multiple sword skill that you don't know what which one to equip and you want to put more this one is free and cheaper so that's why i really like it i really love it i still prefer using it of course they are better the better connect skill of course the better connect skill but for now for new players definitely try to use this one it is actually really good if you know how to use it and you can still use this connect skill for late game as well if you want to mostly connect skill are only used to support your other skills so you can put support skill in the connect skill or even use the skill record to activate your burst easier instead of using two sets that's why i really like this one it's free and cheap yes next we have Dival. um this one, why so high up? He has becoming more and more popular later into the game in late game because tanking is now really important for Labyrinth during the late game and even sometimes in GOG. Now, this one is really, really cheap to use. It costs 10 SP to use and also gives aggro to tank because we want the tank to tank the damage for the boss so other players can deal damage from the behind on the boss so that's why it is really really good you take the aggro you tank it and it's really cheap 10 sp 10 sp is really really cheap that means you have 90 sp left to use something else that you need to which makes your uh, rotation much much easier so that's why it's real high up and not right now late game we do need one tank roll, that's why it's really good and it's free. And it's free, so that's why it's high up right now. Before, I, I believe I had it on B tier because back then we didn't have that many Labyrinth that required that a lot of tanking. But now, later to, to, to the game, when you're farming Yasha, when you're farming for Gauss weapon series, and now when you're farming for Machina weapon series, tank has become really, really popular. Next, we have Angelin Kirito. Now, this passive skill here, I'm not sure if it's in, in the combat metal shop, I have not seen it before in the past years. But this one was given during Soul, during our first guild rank, not GOG, but this was from the GVE, the guild, the guild versus event, I believe it's called. This was given as a reward for the first guild rank event, 2018, and then they, bring, they brought back Kirito Dungeon, which given this free as well. Now, why is it so good? Well, it helps to to break the boss faster if you have uh, if you're fighting a boss that has a break mode. Use the skill, and this one helps to increase the more break gauge, which is amazing. That means you have higher success to break the boss. Right now, there are better alternatives. Better th this one, for example, we have, for example, we have Alice, a Black Knight Rest. This is much better. It has higher increase breakage right and also has iron fist punish punishment which increase your flat attack when you're using blunt element so maze and axe and also is awakening so this one is better alternative but i was still say for those that doesn't have those new the better alternatives and have this one it's still really useful and still really great and for party it can be really good for gg it is amazing that's why I put it on A tier, it's still being used, still really relevant, so that's why I put it here. For P tier, we have uh, more than A tier and S tier together. Now, for B tier, this is mostly for new players or players that are going through the story and progressing or trying to farm. This skill can be decent good, it is alright, not the best, there are better alternatives, much much stronger, but I still think they can be somewhat useful. Now, first one we have two burst skills, one is full burst and one is regular burst. Swinging Blade Kirito and Black Pioneer Kirito. Now, why are they in B tier? Well, after making a lot of accounts and progress through them sometimes, I see that sometimes when you progress, progress through the story, reaching higher floor, the boss getting harder and harder and sometimes they have some abilities that is undodgeable and you need to somehow survive it. So these two skills here are mostly for survivability. Because when you use a burst, you are invisible for like five, three, five seconds, depends how long the duration of the burst is, which is really good. And also these two have a good synergy. Yes, they work pretty well. Swinging Blade Kirito need the burn on the enemy to, to deal more damage and Black Pioneer Kirito can apply burn. So that's why they have somewhat decent synergy. They're not that strong, of course, they're better alternatives, like I said, but these two skills, you can still use them if you're new players, because they are works pretty well, and it makes your build much easier for sword. So a friendly sword build that you can use while progressing through the story. So that's why they're on B tier. 
Next one, we have Man of the Day Kirito, which is a must kill. Now, why is, why is this one on B tier? Well, it's not for the damage, and it's not because you have to unlock first slot on this war. It's so weak compared to other mod skill, right? This skill here is on B tier because it is used a lot for breaking, yes. So this one is, is really good for floor 75 skull reaper farming because you need sword break and this one can be a really good alternative to use as a sword breaker. Floor 100 when you do fighting the boss, it does require a sword break. So that is another alternative that you use. DOG sometimes needs sword break and since a lot of players doesn't have a sword break, this one can be a, another alternative to use as a sword break. So it is mostly used as a sword break, that's why it's on B tier. And everyone has access to it, so it's still really good. Next we have two maze skill. Well, this is mostly for maze tanking, uh, maze tanking support, I would say. One is increasing, increasing your blunt element damage which is pretty good and it's free and this one Litten is giving more defense it is all right so if you're tanking as a maze against boss that is weak to slash this one helps all the sword dps because you give them more defense and the more defense it will deal more damage so it is it is all right but there are definitely better alternatives of course better buffer but this one is a free and you can use this as a tank if you are buffing for sword dps now we have two passive, they are pretty much the same, but I would say this one is a little bit much better. Why are they in B tier? Well, they increase your max HP, and max HP can be really good. Especially for those that have a hard time to yet reach max HP. Well, the downside is that they have a negative, which is reducing your healing. Your healing from pots and plants reduced by 50%, which is kinda bad. But it doesn't affect for skill record that can heal you, yes. So for example, if you use, for example, if you use Best Memory Silica, which is a burst skill, it heals you when you have element on yourself, and it heals you by a lot actually, 2% per stack, 2% per stack, and so if you have 99 stacks on yourself, so just double it, you recover a lot, a lot of HP, which is really, really good. And it doesn't affect on the passive, so this is mostly for tanking, so the passives is good, for if you want to tank. Now there are better alternatives and sometimes it is bad if you're depending on the pots but it is good if you're only depending on the burst skill that can heal you or any skill that can heal you. So it's a mixed feeling and it's good for early game as well. Increase your HP to survive a little bit longer. So that's why they're on B tier. Now this one, I only put this here because of rush. You get free rush, that's all. Otherwise it's so useless. This one is much much better. Next we have two Advanced Trooper, uh, Advanced Trooper 3. This one is given free when you do the UE event that is permanent. I forgot the name of it, but this one you get six copies of it. So you have plus five limb break, which is nice. You're getting free flat attack. So almost free 300 attack, which is good for early games. Late game, it does fall off because we have better. We have Pyrus 3, Pyrus 4, and even high Advanced Trooper, Advanced 4, Advanced advanced trooper 5 which gives more flat attack than this one but it's still free you can use it for early game which is nice perfect for new players or for those that are currently progressing so that's free flat attack same goes for sanya she's basically the same as yui that does give you free flat attack advanced trooper 3 now let's move on to modfather ring exbl and only for buffs for modfather we have really good alternatives for your mod skill if you are missing some mod fodder to put in your mod. Now the first one is Sword. Also Swordsman Jujo, which is one of the strongest or one of the best mod fodder to give on your sword. Now why? Because it scales off your defense and the higher defense you, are, you have, the more damage your mod skill will do. And it's free, you can get this one from the Alization event permanent. You get this one for free copy and if you have a look first slot on your mod sword, modify it with this one and your mod sword is really good. Next one is Raper Mod Father. This one is one slot and it gives you free 800 attack on the skill, which is nice. Not the best, but hey, it still works. And if you don't have any mod father for your Raper, you can use this one as a mod father. It's still really good. For dagger, we have given two dagger fodder, which works pretty well, really nice. 
maze we have mana one slot this is is really good definitely worth it to put on your maze mod if you're going for maze dps really good bonus for spear these two is all right i would say sanya or i mean i would say sachi is better than this one because sanya gives turbos an attack if there are bleed enemy on them really good this one gives you flat attack but you need a dark buff there are no skill right now that is free that gives you dark buff so it is kind of useless at the moment but once you have a dark buff then it can be all right but now this one is kind of restricted this is only good if you have dark spear build if you have dark buff and have dark spear you can put this one on your mod with sending love sachi so yeah two decent mod fodder for your spear for bow we have a really amazing one slot bonus for bow because it's really good for party if, if you have a suicide bow build now it is one slot and it already competing with other bonus have the same that are gacha but this one is free so you can use this one everyone will have access to this one everyone is given this one for free which is amazing and you can put it on your mod bow to deal more damage really good now this one moon archer silica it is bad because it costs two slots to use the bonus and also it does less damage compared to other bonus for example this one is gives you 100% damage meanwhile this one is like 50% damage no 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 for two slots oof but if you don't have any mod fodder for your bow you can use these two these two have somewhat good synergy but once you get much much better mod fodder just remove this silica here just remove it and then they put in the better better mod father with this one next one we have ring ex ability so these passes here are only good for ring i would say but now there are two really really good rings which is asana elizabeth now asana it gives you really high frostbite resistance if you have limit break it you can get up to 100 percent frostbite resistance which is really good and some content does apply frostbite having 100 frostbite resistant amazing you don't you don't take that much damage anymore you don't get the ultimates so that's why it is really good elizabeth it gives you 80 percent burn resistant if you have it at max it will give you up to 100 percent burn resistant that means you will never get burn and there are right now some boss higher content right now in endgame that does apply burn so that's why it is really good that's why you want to have the on ring these two skill here is like god tier definitely together with peace of my yui as a free they are given free and if you wonder how to get these two skill here they are only available right now in the combat metal shop but once they do a rerun event you definitely want to get this one i believe this one is winter this one was actually this one is kind of weird because the event it was a golem event that was released in 2018 to 2019 i believe and after that it was never never ever released this one is available during combat shop medals what rotation or when rotation i don't know just check every month to see what if they are there if you see it then just buy it immediately 50 metal combat definitely worth it i will make a video uh, on the combat metal shop once this one is up i'll make sure everyone get this one because it is really really good next one we have yuki now we just give bleed resistant up to 50 percent which is all right not the best as these two that gets 100 percent if you limerick it but this one is all right 50 percent it's not bad so you have 50 percent chance to get bleed or 50 percent not yet bleed so it is a um, rng that's all clean it is all right not the best not the best resistant there are better alternative but this one can be somewhat used if you have it now next we have two advanced triple two that gives you free flat attack which is good if you want to increase your attack stat good alternative and asana this one it gives you can put this one on your ring if you want to increase your switch damage not the best there are better alternative but it is free and you can use this one if you want to increase your switch damage next we have the buffs now the buffs you can use this one on yourself if you want to or you can give it to koharo this is mainly only used for buffs and these they are decent not the best but they are they can be used sometimes if you need more buffs for yourself if you want to increase your damage or try to survive a little bit more mostly for your damage 
and car can use all of these and you can use them as well on your second set if you want to but it, it is not required but i think they can be somewhat decent these skills here are given for free for limited time and it's never came back after that for example this Kohar skill here is a 3 star and this one was given when Dagger was released. Dagger was a new weapon and they have a dungeon to give of 3 11 copies of this Dagger skill. Ever since it never came back. Silka, this power skill here was given as a reward for solo ranking. Yes, we have a solo rank for players we were competing with our players. So this one was given for every single player that was competing in the solo ranking. And I was top 200, so I was given 7 copies of this one, so I have a plus 7 on this. After that, this skill had never come back. came back, it's not even in the combat melee shop. I have not seen this in any event, and if they do release a solo ranking again, maybe this one will come back, who knows? Next, we have two Persona 5 collab, Violet and Mona. Now, Mona is basically the same as Yui, but Yui is much better. So it is alright, if, you if you're an old school player that playing during Persona 5, you can still use this one. They are decent, but they are better alternative of course, so they have been falling off a lot. Violet is decent for if you pl plan to build a rapier set early game. O otherwise, we have Connect Rapier that act much much better than Violet because she is only used to reduce call time on the skill record. But now when we have Connect Rapier, this one is like trash, much much, it's like here in useless tier right now but i would say it's b tier or even c tier if i have make a c tier because it's awakening next we have tail series collab this one is pretty useless i don't see it being used that much but this one is advanced trooper 2 so it's basically the same as these two here it gives you free free flat attack if you need that really good and we were given free 11 copies so we're getting free 200 attack pretty good on the ring if you want to and now these two, Yuki and Asuna, they are advanced to 3, but they are limited. This one was given when the release, Celebration of Steam released, so it's Waterline came, coming to Steam, pretty good. Asuna, I don't really remember, but we were also giving, I think it was Celebration for 10 anniversary, 10 game anniversary. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this one was given for free as well. And I don't believe they are in the combat melee shop. You can't get this one. I mean, there are advanced super three, so it doesn't change that much. You have Yui and Sanya that is also advanced super three, so these two doesn't change that much. And the rest here, they are useless. I don't see any value in them. How good they can be? I mean, you can still use them. Nothing wrong with that. But I don't see them being useful in late game. You can use. Argo, you can use this Yuki and Notte. They are recent floor release. I think this one is floor 69, this one is floor 17, and this one is floor 51 as reward. They are somewhat good, but you can still use them, but I don't see them being good if you have a better alternatives. So that was the all free to play skill record in the series, and this is just my opinion for you, for you guys that are watching. Do you disagree or agree with this tier list? Let me know in the comments. If you have a different uh, tier list or a different agreement, let me know. And that's for me. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy my free to play tier list. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care now and bye bye.